when you're thinking about your well-being, you're thinking about your happiness, you're burnt out, getting a little snappier than before, you can kind of use a, a paradigm like the seven dimensions of wellness to kind of check in with yourself and see where you need to give a little bit more love. Walking into a room with black men during Black History Month and getting an opportunity to talk about mental health was incredible. Things like self-love, self-compassion are hard to come by because you're told that your value is in what you produce and what you make and that kind of thing. And so we really, really have to be intentional about how do you reconnect with loving yourself, with being compassionate for yourself, with taking it easy on yourself. Just because I'm a yoga teacher, I'm wearing a turban, does not mean that I'm perfect. There are days and many days in which like I'm too busy quote unquote, or too tired, but you know, I find my way back to the mat. I mean, it was amazing and it was actually pretty eye-opening and refreshing to have like a community of people that kind of like think the same way. What do we lose if I sit in prison and say, okay, well I'm good. Like the collective impact is how we rewrite the future. It's not about always being black or white. This is about being a human being. But imagine if we keep getting together as our own, we can maybe stop always thinking about that, but we can't stop thinking about that until we do it more, you know? And that's why this is important, you know? It was exactly what I needed tonight. And honestly, I, we, we need more of this. <laughs>